deep love? Maybe a little. So what's going on? I'm trying to figure something out. If you want someone to do something for you, and they don't want to, how do you get them to do it? David? Sure thing. You wouldn't happen to be talking about Senator Boyd, would you? Well, maybe. I know. Cheryl, this is serious. Maybe you just better give up on it. Peas and carrots? Sure. Then I won't tell you. All right, Cheryl, tell us. No, you don't want to hear. Cheryl, we want to hear. Tell us. Well, if I want something from my good friend Tina, I give her something she wants. Like marbles. She loves marbles. Jeremy, you can give Sarah Boyd some marbles. She's right. Senator Boyd wants marbles? No. Volunteers. Give me four graphs and a kick. We'll do a wrap around and drop it in page 12. No, I don't think it's worth more. Just do it, and I need a guess. Right. Right. Okay, five graphs. No more. Morning. Hey, boss. Get set for a three-column photo spread, huh? And push the contrast. And you can trust me on this one, because this one's going to count for something. Why do I want to stuff envelopes for this guy? He's for open government. And he's investigating that Loring guy. And he's got a lot of charisma. Oh, yeah. The real lady killer. OK. We'll do it without you. Oh, I didn't say no. Yes, what can I do for you? Here you see four able-bodied volunteers anxious to work for Senator Boyd. We're willing to put in a guaranteed 40 man hours, uh, including women hours, of course, and trade for just 15 minutes of the Senator's time for an interview. Now, is that a deal you can turn down? You must be my nephew, Jeremy. That's me. Honey, I never met you at a family picnic. Oh, well, I try to stay away from The answer to your offer is no. We don't need volunteers that go around lying to people. Well, I exaggerated a little. You can just get your butt out of here, young man. But I am out. <laughs> You can almost see that it's me. It's just a little piece of your hat. I don't know. I don't like this. I just talked to Mr. Loring at his beach house. He told me to alleviate your worries. I'm on loan to you as your security consultant for the foreseeable future. Who is it? Oh, gee. Richie here? Yeah. Rich! Richie! The disc with the, with the picture of the, of the limo on it. Did you save it? You mean this? I sure do. Yeah, it's even clearer this time, Rich. That's because I increased the dot pattern. You can almost see who this guy is. It looks like a baseball cap. Or a UFO. If we knew who that other bozo was, he could tell us if it's really Loring. It's Loring. Hey, Senator Boyd's investigating that guy. I could come up with something to help the investigation. I bet he'd give me that interview. Can you print it out, Richie? Sure.
Your man here assured me he had all the negatives. I did. That's just a computer enhancement. What's the difference? What it is? You didn't stop it from getting in the paper. Deal's off, Loring. No, no. The deal is on. The money was delivered. Now you're going to deliver. You're going to get the charges against me dropped. If anybody connects me to that picture, or we're going to be in adjoining cell. Will you calm down? The paper doesn't even say it's me in this picture, let alone give any tie into you. Now it's going to blow over. You have nothing to worry about. Trust me. I hope you're right. What's the status of your investigation of Miles Loring? No comment. Does that mean you dropped it? Well, I might as well tell you the sad news. It's been determined by our committee and staff that we just don't have enough evidence against Loring to proceed. I'm afraid we're going to have to table the investigation. Table? As in drop? Sorry to say, it looks that way. number? No, part of one. Six, three, one. S? Yo, yeah, Farley. Farley, hi. Richie, listen, I just found a partial license plate number on the limo in the picture. It's six, three, one, S. Richie, that's terrific. Now, the DMV isn't going to run a partial plate because there could be thousands of numbers that match that. No, there couldn't. Just... 676. Uh-huh. I can have Ralph print out all the possible combinations and I can give them to you to give them to the DMV to check out. I don't think the DMV is about to check out 676 license numbers for us. Well... But could Ralph do it? I mean, if I can get their access code. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try. I'll call you back. Hey, I can give Senator Boyd that license number. I bet he'd give me an interview. And then he could use his connections to find out his limousine it is. Yeah, great. Well, I'll see you later. Okay, good luck. Still don't have them. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was told they'd be here an hour ago, as a matter of fact. Yeah? Just a second. We found a partial license to the car that Loring was in. So what do you want me to do? I want you to run it through the DMV computer for me. I'll have to get back to you, Bob. Yeah. Okay. I'll call the DMV, and then you promise you go away and let me do my job, all right? You don't have to call him. It's okay. I know the number. You've got a direct link right here. Uh, look, Farley, I, I don't know how to use that thing. And, uh, uh, but I'm, I'm real good on the phone, so I'll just call him like a human being. No, oh, wait, but... There. Okay? All you gotta do is program in the access code and then the license code. Access code DMV. What is the uh, license number? Um, we got four digits, 631S. It's broken. I uh, gotta push return. Error incomplete. Oh, they must not search a partial plate. Well, then I guess we're uh, wasting our time, huh? Yeah, I'll have to get the number somehow. Uh, thanks a lot, Quinn. Yeah. Hey, Farley, wait a minute. How do you turn this thing off? Push off. <laughs> 